Hello, I'm Robin Norton from Grass Business Development. I'd like to talk today about No Ordinary Reset. And what we've just been through as a food industry um, really should be making us think, you know, what's our optimum range post pandemic? And we think about what's happened. In February, we saw sanitizer sales climbing. By mid March, we saw stockpiling of toilet roll, bleach, paracetamol, and long life food. Uh, towards the end of March, it was alcohol, sweets, bread, and eggs that retailers were struggling to stay in stock of. Uh, they've been battling through this time to keep the shelves stocked, to uh, justify the limiting of purchases for shoppers and to keep their dot-com operations running and they've been talking with suppliers about maximising their inbound supply. Well, this was no ordinary reset, you know, quite correctly snap decisions were based on volume and speed. Uh, suppliers were complicit in cutting up to 70% of their ranges and delivering productivity gains of up to 15% as a result, so less was more. On inside the factory, Greg Wallace revealed that Heinz in Wigan had increased production by 50% to 4.5 million cans a day. And whilst things are stabilising, many manufacturers need several more weeks to recover their usual stock positions. Life is also far from back to normal for shoppers, but we need to look ahead. As retailers and manufacturers, um, we can afford more category complexity now, and as that happens, which delisted products should come back? There are still supply chain pressures, we can predict. A second wave of COVID remains a possibility. We should be concerned about our missing land army of produce pickers. And as the lockdown recedes, Brexit is looming again. So we use EPOS data, loyalty data and qualitative research to inform range management, uh, including major resets. We've also got extensive experience running online surveys, phone surveys and optimising the online shopping experience. Uh, we've used loyalty data in particular from Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's and M&S and we've also approximated this data with consumer panel inputs. Loyalty data itself is significant to optimising your range because some of your lower volume lines, as you may well know, are likely to have loyal shoppers who may well switch their high value baskets to other stores if the products they want aren't available. So it can be really important to add those back. Aside from prioritising high, high loyalty, high value and lower volume lines to add back in, you could also consider, first of all, larger packs to see the smaller number of larger shopping trips we're engaging in, including particularly online. Uh, do remember, though, that multi-buys on single or smaller packs could serve the same purpose as those larger packs, but without the complexity of extra packaging. We're right to see recessionary behaviour return with a vengeance, so the £1 price point will be ascendant again. You may need to re-engineer weight points and promotional programmes to get to this value, not least in view of likely raw material cost increases over the next few months. And then there's also going to be a need for new stuff. Most of us are a bit bored of home cooking now, so new scratch cooking solutions, fake away options and good value innovation will be attractive, but only if that innovation is credible, not risky. We wish you good luck with resetting this reset, and remember, Grasp is here to help, so do get in touch.